This video is created by Chakrat Creations. It's useful to the students who are reading for inter C, IPCC or IPC. It is also useful to the students who are reading for FIBCOM and other professional courses who has this chapter in their syllabus that is insurance claim for loss of stock. I am going to solve one sum here before you. Before that I will give you the hints for the purpose of solving the sum. We are required to find out the insurance claim for loss of stock due to fire. For that we are required to find out the stock existed at the moment of fire. That we find by preparing memoranda trading account. Wherein details of gross profit are available to us on the basis of past experience or on the basis of policy matter. If the rate of gross profit is available, we can prepare a trading account, write the, rate, write the gross profit on the basis of rate of gross profit. And we find out the closing stock as a missing item on the credit side, which may be labeled as stock existed at the moment of fire. It's a statement, it is prepared like this. <clears throat> it is just like trading account. Opening stock is to be recorded at cost, that too opening stock of goods is to be recorded. If the stationary stock is included therein, it should be removed or any other stock is included therein, is to be removed. You have to record purchase, that too purchase of goods only. If the purchase is included, purchase of machinery or any other thing which is other than goods, it should be removed. And only those purchases are recorded for which the delivery has been received because the goods for which the delivery has been received were expo was exposed to the risk of fire, not the goods for which delivery has yet not been received. We are required to record wages that of operating activity, machinery installation charges are included in this wages, it should be removed. We are required to write down the sales. Only those sales for which the goods have been delivered. Only those sales for which the normal rate of gross profit is earned. In these sales, if any amount given at cost is included in these sales, it should be removed and it should be sold separately or it should be deducted from purchases. This sales is to be recorded. The actual sales that has occurred, suppose that goods sold is misappropriated and is not recorded as sale, it should be recorded as sales in this trading account because the goods have already been, goods already have gone out of the site, so it should be added. So sales misappropriated is an unrecorded sales will be added to this sales. Goods delivered at cost other than sales means goods taken for personal use, goods given for charity or goods given for any purpose other than normal sales. All those goods delivered either they are deducted from purchases or they may be recorded at cost on the credit side of this trading account. Now gross profit rate is available, so sales multiplied by gross, gross profit, so we will get the details of gross profit. From this total, if you deduct this, you will get the stock at the rate of fire, stock existence or stock that is subject to risk of fire that will be available. The same memorandum trading account, it's a statement. So it can be represented in a statement form in this question with the same contents just as opening stock plus purchases plus wages, you will get the total cost of goods available for sale. From that deduct cost of goods sold, that is sales minus gross profit and goods delivered uh, the at cost other than sales also to be deducted. So you will get the stock existed at the moment of fire or stock that was subject to the risk of fire. This is how you can prepare a statement or you can prepare a memorandum trading account with this person. These are the two options available to you. Now I want to Take care of one sum, wherein 
these various concepts that has been explained are taken care of. Just read the sum on the screen. Now observe the first important point in this sum that the rate of gross profit is available to you. So you are required to prepare trading account in the date of fire. You are not required to prepare the trading account for previous year or years. All these are adjustment, adjustments given to you. Stock includes gestural stock, removing. Wages accrued should be added to the wages. Plant costing 10,000 included in purchases, removed from purchases. Installation charges thereof are included in wages, remove it therefrom. Goods costing 1250 distributed as sample, right on the credit side of trading account. Goods of one, a clerk has misappropriated cash sales of 40 per week. So find out the number of weeks till the date of fire. Multiply 40 with the number of weeks. You will get the amount of sales misappropriated. And that misappropriated sales will be added to sales because goods have already left the premises at the because of misappropriation. Goods costing 152 were sold to a friend at cost which is not included in the above sales. So goods sold to a friend will be recorded in the credit side of trading account or it will be deducted from purchases. The proprietor has withdrawn goods costing 1000 for the personal use which was recorded in sales book. Now goods withdrawn at cost included in sales, remove it from sales and show the goods withdrawn as a separate item on the face of credit side, opposite side, credit side of the trading account. Now, purchase of 5000 made on 11516 in respect of with the invoice was received, has been entered in the purchase book but the goods were not received. If the delivery of the goods is not received, it should not be recorded in memorandum trading account. Goods were 200 were given to permanent relief fund, but the same was not recorded. So this will be recorded or on the credit side of trading account or may be deducted from purchases. Rate of gross profit is given to you. Now after explaining this information, this is a good sum. Let us start solving the sum. Here I prepare a memorandum trading account. I start with first adjustment. 40,000 opening stock includes testosterone stock 1,000, so it will be removed, so less. So opening stock is 39,000. Wages accrued, 300, that will be added to the wages. So 2,000 plus 300, 2,300. That will be considered in memoranda trading account. Purchase. Plant costing 10,000 purchased on 142,016 was recorded in the purchase book. So from purchases remove the purchase of plant capital expenditure. So 72,000 minus purchase of plant 10,000 is removed therefrom. So purchase of goods will be 62,000. Plant installation expenses 200 will be removed from wages because it is not a wages for operating activity. This is how these adjustments are considered. So three adjustments are done. Let us proceed with the next. A clerk has misappropriated cash sales 40 per week. So how many weeks are there between 1st of January 2016 to 12th May 2016? Let us find out the number of weeks. The number of weeks will be multiplied with 40. So you will get the amount misappropriated by the clerk. This sales is unrecorded. So you have to record it at two sales. So, you have to find out the number of days from 1st of January 16 to 12th May 2016. So, January has got 31 days, February 29, March 31, April 30, May 12, up to 12th May. So, number of days are 133. 133 divided by 7, so number of weeks are 19. 19 multiplied by 40, this is a sales misappropriated and means unrecorded sales. 
So it will be added to sales. This is how the sales gets recorded. Next, goods costing 1240 were distributed free of charge for advertisement. So goods distributed as sample recorded on the credit side of trading account or may be deducted from purchases. Goods costing 152 sold to a friend at cost price which is not included in the above mentioned sales. So sales is sales given to is without this 152. So it will be recorded separately. Goods sold to a friend at cost. Proprietor withdrew goods costing 1000 for personal use which was recorded in sales. Now goods are taken by the proprietor at cost included in sales. So this 1000 is a number without profit. So remove it from sales and write as a separate item on the credit side of trading account goods withdrawn at cost. This is how it gets recorded. So it should be deducted from sales so that we may not apply the rate of gross profit 20% on it. So it should be removed from sales and it should be shown separately as a separate item on the credit side of trading account or may be deducted from purchases. Now this is how the adjustment 4 to 7 are considered. Purchase of 5000 made on 11th May in respect of which the invoice was received. But the goods were not received so purchases includes this invoice but delivery is not received. When the deliveries were not received these goods are not subject to the risk of fire so it should be removed. So from 62,000 deducted 5,000 delivery not received. Goods were 200 given to given for donation, right on the credit side of trading account. Goods given for charity or it may be deducted from purchases. Rate of gross profit is 20 percent. Now I have recorded or I have considered majority of the adjustment. Now let me write down anything which has been left from this one. So opening stock recorded, purchase is recorded, sales recorded, wage is done, carriage inward, railway freight. This is how all the details of trading account is considered. Now I want to find out the gross profit that is 20% on sales, 60,716 to 20%. This is the gross profit. Now from this total, if I deduct the total of credit side, I will get the stock existed at the moment of fire. So this total is 1,12,152 from this deduct this 60,760, 1,000, 1, 150, 150, 200. Stock on the date of fire is 48,800. This is the stock on the date of fire. Against that you have taken an insurance policy of 60,000. So this is a case of over insurance. So the entire risk is covered under the policy. So the claim should be, claim should be to the extent of 100% loss. So this is an over insurance. From that you have to deduct the stock salvage if it is there. So 4000 is the stock salvage. So this is the real loss 44,100. This is the insurance claim. Why? Because the insurance policy is 60,000. That's an over insurance. So this is the insurance claim that we have worked out. So this is the answer that has been presented here. Over insurance. Insurance policy is 60,000 more than that. So entire risk is covered. Now I have tried to explain you this sum. I feel that you have followed it. Thanks to all of you.